Michael Schuett, Total Broadcasting Service, and I'm talking to you today from Tacoma, Washington, as you can plainly see with the iconic Tacoma Dome here in the background. I'm talking to you today about reposting and as it applies to your business and social media. Now, if you're my age, you remember the days of KTNT Channel 11. It's now known as KSTW Channel 11. I mention that because used to be if you missed a TV show or more specifically a, a movie that appears on TV that you missed it. It's gone and you wouldn't see it again until KTNT bought the rights to it and re-aired it maybe years later. Well it's changed dramatically now where you know re-airing of a television show or a TV movie is not the least bit uncommon and we have Ted Turner to thank for that. If you remember the owner of the super station WTBS what became known as TBS, they would buy the rights to a movie and they'd put it on back to back sometimes, sometimes multiple days, sometimes several times during the course of the week, and they were really the first people to do that. Ted Turner wanted to maximize the commercial value of a property he had and make sure it didn't go to waste for people who might have missed it. Well, I want you to apply that way of thinking to social media. If you're doing business uh, and promoting yourself or promoting your business on Facebook or on Twitter, don't be afraid to repost. If you've got an idea, an article, a blog, or let's say a marketing or informational video produced for you by Total Broadcasting Service, I want you to make sure that you maximize the use of that information. You put it up on your social media to begin with, so you must have thought it had some value or interest to your friends, your likes, or your followers. Well, just because you put it up once doesn't mean all your friends, your likes, your followers are going to see it. So you put it up again and again. Now on Facebook, there's a limit. You can overdo it. There's this sort of unwritten rule on Facebook. Don't post too much and don't repost you know, too much. Well, on Facebook, when it comes to reposting, well, Go ahead and change the language in terms of what you're putting up so it's a little different than what it was before. If it has pictures to choose from, choose a different picture each time you post it so it looks a little bit different. And allow some separation. I might maximize a blog, for instance, by posting it twice in the same day, once in the morning, once in the late afternoon, and then maybe later the next day. But then I might you know, repost it weeks or even months later if it's timely and worthwhile to do so. Twitter's different. Twitter, you can seemingly post something over and over and over again and not be, if you will, penalized for doing so. You recommend changing the hash hashtags, changing the wording of the post so that it looks a little bit different each time. But on Twitter, go for it. You know, make sure that that article, that blog, that idea, or that marketing video that you're posting gets reposted again and again and again to make sure your followers see it. Don't be afraid of, if you will, wearing out your welcome. Again, I remind you, a little more careful on Facebook, but on Twitter, Go for it. Post again and again and again those articles, those blogs, those videos that you have so that you maximize their eff effectiveness and you get them seen by more and more people. That's how you do it on social media. That's how you make your business and your business presence that more worth worthwhile, more likes, more followers. That's your tip for this video. I'm Michael Schuett, Total Broadcasting Service. Thanks for listening.